Have you ever seen the day turn to night? On April 8th, a solar eclipse will make that happen. In this video, I am going to discuss about what will happen on April 8th solar eclipse. I will explain why this eclipse is not just a rare event, but also why it's best to view it from the safety of your home. A solar eclipse is a kind of cosmic event that happens when the moon moves right between the Earth and the sun, covering up the sun for a little while. If you're in the right spot on Earth, you'll see the sky get dark as if it's night for a few minutes during the day. This happens because the moon blocks the sunlight that usually reaches us. The reason why we don't have a solar eclipse every month, even though the moon goes around the Earth, is that the paths of the Earth and the moon don't always line up perfectly. There are different kinds of solar eclipses. A total solar eclipse is when the moon covers the sun completely. If you're in the right place, it gets really dark and you can see the sun's atmosphere which is usually too faint to notice. A partial solar eclipse is when only part of the sun is covered by the moon. There's also an annular eclipse, where the moon is a bit too far away to cover the whole sun, and it looks like a ring of fire in the sky. These celestial eclipse events are pretty special and don't happen too often, so they're exciting to see. On April 8th, we're going to see a total solar eclipse. This is when the moon covers up the sun completely for a little while. The path of this eclipse will start in the Pacific Ocean and then move across North America. It will first be seen on Mexico's Pacific coast around midday and will travel all the way up to Canada by the end of the day. The whole thing will last a few hours, but the total darkness, called totality, will only last for a few minutes in each place. In some parts of Mexico, like Torian, the total eclipse will last for about four and a half minutes. That's the longest it will be anywhere. As the eclipse moves along its path, the time of totality will change a bit. Lots of people in North America will get to see at least part of the eclipse. Even if you're not right in the path of the total eclipse, you'll still see the moon take a bite out of the sun. It's going to be a partial eclipse for them. And if you're in the path, it's going to be quite a show. This doesn't happen very often, so it's a special chance to see something amazing in the sky. When the solar eclipse comes on April 8th, it's going to be a stunning sight, but you have to be careful. Looking directly at the sun can be really bad for your eyes, even if the moon is covering most of it. The sun's rays are super strong and can hurt your eyes in just a short time. So it's super important to use special glasses called solar eclipse glasses. These glasses have special filters that protect your eyes from the sun's harmful rays. Now, you might wonder, why not just use regular sunglasses? Well, they're not strong enough to block out the dangerous parts of the sun's light. Only solar eclipse glasses that meet the right safety standards can do that. If you don't have these glasses, the best thing to do is to stay inside. That way, you can watch the eclipse on TV or online and still keep your eyes safe. Plus, staying indoors means you won't have to worry about finding the right glasses at the last minute. It's all about enjoying this amazing event without taking any risks. Solar eclipses have always been powerful moments in history, sparking wonder and fear. Long ago, people didn't understand what was happening when the sun disappeared during the day. They thought it might be a sign from the gods or even the end of the world. In some places, they believed a dragon or a giant frog was swallowing the sun. Others thought it was a battle between the sun and the moon. These stories were their way of making sense of something so strange and dramatic. But eclipses have also played a part in science. They help prove important ideas, like how gravity can bend light, which was a big part of Einstein's theory of relativity. So while the myths are just stories, they show how eclipses have always made people stop and think, and sometimes they've even changed the way we understand the world. That's it for our journey through the solar eclipse. If you found this celestial event as fascinating as we do, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more astronomical wonders.